In this video, we're going to implement a uh, did select road index path um, function. And what this will do is when our users click on um, a username, Bill, for example, and then we display list of summer songs. Now we want to click on summer song and get some details of that record. So for that, we'll implement a new function. Um, did select road index path, with, which belongs to a uh, UI table view uh, delegate protocol. And uh, we will access the uh, record details and we'll display them in our Xcode debugging uh, console. At this moment, it doesn't work. So uh, let's uh, work on that. So I'll stop this application, hide my um, bottom panel. And I don't have that function in here. So if I um, type overwrite, um, no, table view, I will uh, get a list of functions that I can um, uh, overwrite. And I'm looking for did select a uh, did select a road index path. Did select road index path, this one. Okay, so and I will need overwrite keyword here. So I'm overriding a uh, table view did select road index path. Very good. And this function will be called every time when user taps on a row uh, in our table view. Okay. And now what we need to do, well, first of all, we, we need to access the music item that that is displayed for that song. And we do have this line of code in our cell uh, for road index path. So uh, we will create a new object music item, which will um, contain uh, an item that was stored in the user music items array for this row. And uh, for debugging purposes, we will simply print uh, some information from that music item now. So, and for example, uh, song title equals to and then I can do music item and then uh, call object for key and I think it's called song title and I'll put exclamation mark to get rid of uh, optional uh, keyword uh, to be not to be displayed okay let's go back to parse and check the music class and look at the um, uh, key for the song title. Yes, it's called song title. Very good. And what else can we display? We can display artist name and we can display user's object. So let's look how we can access user object, which is a pointer to our user's table as well from this record. Let's go back to Xcode and let's print. Uh, we will print, sorry, artist name equals to, and we will reference to music item object for key artist name exclamation mark. Oh, let me quickly double check that it is indeed artist name. Very good. And now I can access uh, a an, um, a user's user's object, uh, which is um, associated with my music record. And the way I do it is a little bit different. So uh, let me create um, music owner object, something like this, for example. But this object is not going to be of a type PF object, but rather PF user object because it's a pointer to user's table. And um, I'm going to get it from the music item, just the same way, object for key user, but then I will need to cast it to PF user because it's not longer a string value. It's a special type object. It's a pointer to user's table, to, to the uh, user's record that whole of that owns this music item and once i have music owner object uh, i can um, let's actually print it right away let's uh print now 
I'll say music item owner. So that's the registered user who uh, owns um, this song. I'll um, reference to music a uh, user object, and then I can either call object for key or I can simply display uh, username of that object or I can display object ID object ID of that user or I can display object for key and let's display email address of that registered user uh, let's go back to our parse class and let's click to users table and just double check yeah so it's called email so we can display email we can display user ID, username and user object id but please um uh, notice that the way i display username and object id is a bit different because username and object id belongs to user object but email is a custom column that i've created earlier so it's a custom column that was created like this like i've added I clicked on add new column and then I selected a stream type and I called it email. This is why I'm accessing email is a little in a little bit different way than object ID and username. Okay, so and uh, one uh, one more time, please note that I'm reading user object from music item from from this record. I mean from this record music I'm accessing user which is a pointer to a user class so this is a relationship that we've created between two classes user who has um, many music items and this is how we linked a user to this music items okay so I think this should work now this function does not return anything we can simply run and see if it works. Okay, so I can click on Bill. I have Summer Song, and I can click on Summer Song, and I get an error. Now, why did I get this error? Let's try to understand. I think um, I've made a typo in the song title uh, unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping optional value let's just do it again um, we could we could check it for now and uh, we could check it for empty value again I'm simplifying to make it um, look um, better so I click on song and we do get a song title which is summer song artist name Sergey, and then we have music item owner email address optional uh, i mean user id and the email oh right uh, the username uh, let's remove optionals by adding exclamation mark and the reason we get email address for username is because our a username in a users class username actually is email address so when we log in we log in with email address and password so that's correct so username is email and then we have uh, object ID and we have email address of that um, music item owner and I got rid of optionals so now let's run this again and look how it works So this time I'll click on Michael. Michael doesn't have anything. John. John has two songs. One is a children's song. So we have uh, data displayed correctly. A world unity song. Everything is okay. So this is it. This is working. And again, it's a very simple example, but there's so much in it. We worked with uh, parse classes. Uh, we worked with um, a one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationship in this example one user has uh, many music items and we linked each music item to a user that owns it using pointers and then in our mobile app we've created table view 
and we've learned how to pass information forward from one table view to another table view controller and in the second uh, our second view is actually a table view controller we have seen the difference how to implement UI uh, table view data source and delegates for each and they are different and we've learned how to uh, read information from um, parse a um, linked user object which is a pointer to the um, uh, record in the parse class and this is it for this example i hope it is uh, helpful and if it for some reason doesn't work uh, please uh, send me a message and i'll do reply as soon as i can and please please understand there's so many uh, of you who email me and ask for my help with your code i cannot physically answer uh, right away to each of you because um, i'm only one and you are so many so if i don't answer right away please give me some time or maybe send uh, a message again um, telling me that you you're stuck and you can't move forward on this uh, and you need help okay have a great day